Guys, okay, so Mark has built a uh, cage where we're going to attempt to work on Bam Bam and some of the other dogs' feet. So one of the tricks to this, I'll sit down the freezer, is uh, freezing some peanut butter. We got these things. Ho, ho, ho. It's like a popsicle. Testing this particular thing out to be good. We're going to see how it fares. Objectively, this goes here. Screws in nice and tight. And uh, I'm going to screw this here. As you see, we gotta raise it a little bit more. So we can get him working on them paws. Now, one thing's for sure, clearly this boy likes peanut butter. So I'm gonna screw it here. Because he's still not on his toes. You objectively want the dogs at the top part of their toes, which is also why I like this two-fold, two-door cage. Now that's at the top. This is giving him a base. So we'll probably move this to a, a cage that's roughly 42 inches, so we can raise the height a little bit more. But we want to test the theory, and more than likely we'll use this on Hera and some other dogs to help correct their feet. Easty Westy is not uncommon in the American Bully. Bam Bam, I believe, got this particular thing from uh, his dad, Baloo, because Zara don't have Easty Westy problems, and her daughters don't. Baloo, on the other hand, the ones who've taken on a great deal of his genetics, they beyond a reasonable doubt. Well, let's get over here so you can see too. And what you really do too, is you add a food component. Well, I like the peanut butter thing, is to ensure that food don't fall out in the sand. <laughs> but you put peanut butter on this thing, this little grip pad, and then literally get the dogs working. He's not on his toes. But let's take a little look here real quick. In this book while he does that. Now, I told you before, we're breeding for performance. So, East West Pasterns. That's when the toes slightly go out. The majority of East-West pastures are created by puppy nutrition. Ooh, see that right there? Not genetics. Oh, wow. But here's the thing. In the American Bully, it's been proven beyond a reasonable doubt that dogs who get easty westy oftentimes it is genetics. This book, I have to look at it when it was created. Because what we do know is Ego's feet was like this here. Uh, up his calcium which assisted and raised his toes and had him working. And uh, he was able to solve for a great portion of them. If the leg is turned when hanging free, this caused genetic quite, hanging free, this cause is genetic quite rare, but not, impo not improbable. And most time you see, you know why we know that it's genetic thing? Because you be like, hey, who was E.C. West? You go back down the line, it was mama, his daddy. And you keep deviling up on that trait. If the leg is straight when hanging free, but turn when hanging bearing weight, then the cause is most likely nutrition that the dog received during growth. 
East-West parasites can also be temporary issue during growth stages, particularly during the teenage phase. While the young dog's chest is still shallow, the elbows tend to fall inward, which turns the feet and pastures out. This is one of the few structural issues that that young dog may outgrow. So, risk. East-West pastures place excessive strain on the joints and the inside of the legs and can accelerate structural breakdown potential potentially leading to degenerative joint disease, arthritis. All based on some feet. Oh wow, that's not the move. So, part of it, as you see that we're doing regularly, is what? Solving for the nutritional challenges. We're solving for the physical challenges. Now we know beyond a reasonable doubt that we gotta raise this up because he's already getting to that big stage. He's already too big for this. Beauty about it is, is this wasn't wasted because this gives the opportunity for other dogs to come in and work separately on their feet and keeping them tight. So stay tuned, take care of your dogs, people. Easty Wesley, I just read it to you. You can see for yourself. A lot of it, like Oscar Slaughter's for kids that grow too fast, it's a thing. It is a thing. <laughs>